Okay, so this is a problem that we did that's called um, a frame of reference or addition of velocity. And the idea was this. Let's imagine that I'm swimming across a river. And on the other side of the river um, is this beautiful palm tree. And I'm going to swim across the river, and I'm standing directly across the river from the palm tree. So my intention is to go straight across. And the idea of this is that if I'm going to go straight across and my velocity through the water is uh, some swimming speed and the water is moving at about one half of my swimming speed, the question is then what's my speed across the river? And so there are vectors here, and we have the vector that is my speed with respect to the land is equal to the velocity of me with respect to the water, plus V of the water with respect to the land. But I see in this case that in the statement of the problem, in the statement of the problem, we have a triangle here where the right angle is between my intended crossing of the river and the flow of the river. So in fact, to add these as vectors, I need to draw a triangle where my swim speed my swim speed is the hypotenuse. Okay, so let's see. That means that my swim speed, whoops, squared is equal to the water speed, which is half of my swim speed, squared plus my speed me with respect to the land. Now you'll notice by comparing these two equations that adding things as vectors does not always go right into an A, B, and C form of the Pythagorean theorem. You need to think about what the right angle is where this is one half V swim. Okay, and so we what we get here is that V swim squared 1 minus 1 half squared is equal to v me with respect to the land squared. And if I take the square root of both sides, what I'm left with is that v of me with respect to the land is equal to the v of me swimming times the square root of 1 minus 1 half squared, which when I punch into my calculator is 0 0.87 V of me swimming. And that's the answer. So, you know, you can ask a different question here. You can ask, what's going to happen if I don't know that there's a right angle here? Then what do I do? Well, let's imagine that instead then I do a problem where I say um, we have the same prop, the same issue here. Let's say I, um, I'm going to swim uh, at a 45 degree angle, let's say, or a 30 degree angle or a 60 degree angle with respect to the bank through the water. And the water is going with some V water. Okay, then how do I add these vectors? Well, how I add these vectors is I separate them into components. So I separate them into components, into X and Y components. And the water has only a Y component. And so I get that the uh, sum total, so let's call that V total, V total in the X direction is V swim in the x direction plus v water 
in the x direction and v total in the y direction is v swim in the y direction plus v water in the y direction which is let's see v swim uh, in the x direction is cosine theta and minus to take into account the water water's direction v water and the y component of the water is zero so this is just v swim sine theta where i have used axes that look like x and y okay so that means that the v total is going to be equal to the square root of v total x squared plus v total y squared and you can do out that math so that's what we're going to be doing in general stay tuned